Hello, I'm Inya Zalea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be talking about removing noise in your video uh, in Adobe Audition. So we will start here in Adobe Premiere, but you shouldn't remove or well do any effects to your audio uh, inside of Premiere, except if it's something really minor. Um, but if you really want to get into audio editing and do something specific, you should go for a dedicated software, and that's what Audition is for. So uh, first of all, when I record something with the camera or when I make a tutorial, I try to record and then wait a f uh, four seconds before someone starts speaking. So you have complete silent and then it will yeah, capture an audio profile of your ambient noise so it will just listen to the area you're recording at uh, that can be outside, that can be indoors and then it will have only that noise profile and nothing else. So make sure that you have just a quiet four seconds. Um, well, it can be done with two seconds or less, um, but just to be sure, make sure you have around four seconds of just audio free uh, video, well, uh, audio file of course and that's going to be a lot easier uh, on editing uh, it afterwards. So, so first of all I'm in Premiere Pro here and I drag my video file right here into the timeline. Uh, the first thing I do is just drag the audio here uh, just so I can see the waveforms because at start you will see it like this. I just drag this out uh, until yeah something that you like and then I'll right click here and go to edit clip in Adobe Audition. Okay so you can see the audio file is very quiet, but that's for a different tutorial where I will be speaking about how loud your audio should be for YouTube or for videos. Uh, and yeah, that's going to be a different tutorial, so subscribe if you want to see that. Um, but right now, I'm just going to be talking about removing the noise. So I'll just zoom in here on my audio file, and you will see I have some empty space before my audio starts. So the empty space is my noise. So um, some people will see some waveforms in here um, because, yeah, that's the noise and it's producing a lot of volume. So and uh, then it's possible that you will see that here. Um, but what we can do is just select it right here, go to effect and go to noise reduction and yeah, restoration, then just capture a noise print. So the noise print is going to listen to that area and take a profile of that audio so it can calculate based on what it just heard right here and calculate how to delete this noise all over the video. So once you have captured your noise profile, just click away, then hold control and press A on the keyboard then again go to effects, noise reduction and remove the noise reduction process here. So once you have that you can just play your video and listen to the video and then play with these parameters. Uh, just make sure you never really bump it all up to 100% because your audio is going to be messed up and you're going to hear that your audio doesn't sound very natural. So try to find something that works for you, just drag it until you think it works. Uh, maybe reduce it by like 40% in the decibels here and yeah try to find something between yeah uh, 0 and 80 so most of the times when I'm re reducing noise I find it to to be great at 60 to 80 so something about here and once you have found something that works for you you can just click apply here and that will apply it to the video so uh, this button is to loop the audio so when you're playing it it's just uh, starting to repeat itself all over again so you can just um, easily call, uh, continue on working with your audio and then once you have your profile you can click on here to disable it so you can listen to it with uh, the with, with the noise and then once you have deleted the noise right here so once you have done that you just click apply and that will apply it to the video and yeah you just wait a few seconds and there we go so now the noise should be completely gone and what we can do is just cl uh, click on file here and go to save click save and then if we go back to Premiere you will see that now our audio file has been calculated and it's just calculating the exact same file that we just used in Adobe, uh, Adobe Audition. So that's great why I work with Adobe Premiere because it's so integratable with all the kinds of softwares like Audition, like After Effects and that's something that I really love that's it's automatically getting updated right inside of Premiere and you can see that by the green color. If it has green color it has been edited uh, so 
in a different software edition in this case. So um, yeah, that's great. This is how to remove the noise in your video. If you want to see other tutorials, just leave it in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. Um, yeah, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video if you liked it. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.